Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2 and today we're going to go over how to rotate parts. First go to your structures tab and find the hubs. Uh, for this example I'm going to use an extra small hub. On that hub we're going to put a cargo bay from the payload tab. Like so. I like to use the small payloads. Next we're going to go to the coupling and go to the stack separators. I, uh, for this example I'm using the two-way stack separator and then that's going to be plopped right onto the payload. Alright we can go ahead and grab our rotate and translate tools. We're, we are going to grab the payload and move it away from the hub like so. Okay. Alright before we move the decoupler we're going to attach something to it. We're going to go to our structures tab and attach the I-beam to it. Like so. Now on this I-beam from the structures tab we're going to put a panel in near the middle. I said there, flat like so. On this panel we're going to put a probe either on the top or on the bottom. I like to put it on the bottom and we will put on top of this tile a stabilizer reaction wheel like so. We are going to grab the decoupler and we are going to move it back it move it back towards the hub. Okay. We're going to have to adjust it ever so slightly to keep the reaction wheel from hitting the payload. Okay? but this is good right here. So back to the structures tab we're going to build this same this same hub setup on the other side. So let's go. Grab our truss of the same size of the hub. Grab a hub. Grab a truss. Grab a hub. Grab a truss. Grab a hub. hub, 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 hub. Okay, and now we made it to the other side. Okay, so let's grab a payload, small payload. Make it action. And then we can grab uh, rotate and translate. And remember, grab the payload and move it towards the IV. For this example, I'm going to just move the truss network further over so that more of the I beam sticks into the payload not to be running into the the stabilizer. We could always move that, recenter this as well. Okay. Now to keep this from falling over right away, I'm going to add a, just some trusses or yeah, trusses to the bottom. Like so. In the settings, I'm going to make sure that infinite electricity, infinite propellant is turned on. Let's send it to the runway. Okay, so I'll break the decoupler. Now it's sitting in the payloads. Alright, now grab your I beam with a double click or switch to next vehicle and start hitting W. As you can see, it's rotating. You can rotate rotate it too fast, and it breaks it breaks out. So. Uh, I will. I can't wait to see what you can come up with with this uh, rotating technique. 